But yeah, given you were going into this election mm. in, with a 20-point lead, how mm. disappointed are you with it and, and, and what's gone wrong with it? Well, I, d I don't think we were ever going to maintain a 20-point lead through uh, an election campaign because inevitably uh, he, you set a course and, and uh, the Prime Minister gave us a direction as to how she, what she wanted to, to achieve during the campaign, but inevitably you are diverted. And I think we let uh, the opposition set the agenda too much. We didn't talk sufficiently about the positive aspects of our manifesto. Are, are you um, critical of Theresa May's position now? If it well, turns out that... The, well, I think it, don't have I, I, you know, clearly, uh, clearly, if if we end up in a worse position than we started, that is um, cause for concern. Yeah, and uh, I think the Does prime minister. Does that mean she has to resign? Well, uh, it's too early to say. You know, let, let's uh, let's see what the outcome is in five or six hours' time, and then we can start reflecting on that after we've had a few hours sleep. And, and finally, as well, Brexit is a big issue in in these parts, and indeed across mm. the country as well. Do you think? the Brexit process is in jeopardy now? Well, no, because it, uh, in the initial <laughs> stages, the officials are, um, do a lot of the uh, actual negotiations. Obviously, you need uh, uh, a stable government behind them, and uh, you know, say we don't know uh, what will emerge. I mean, we could have a stable Conservative government in three or four hours' time. On the other hand, we could have what uh, we've been talking about for the last month, a coalition of chaos. Thanks very much, Martin. Okay, Thank you. Thank you. no problem.